Well boys, I hope you are excited for some up and coming diesel content on the channel because today we are officially introducing Wyatt's Duramax powered race truck build to the channel. Also please excuse the noisy road behind us, we got a lot of cars going by because we are just in our driveway. We've been wanting to introduce Wyatt's truck to the channel for quite some time now, but we have some reasons why we decided to wait till the right moment to do that, which we'll talk about a little bit at the end of this video. But today's focus is going to be on Wyatt's race truck here, he's been working on this thing for the last couple years he's been working on it this whole time he's been living down here in florida he's made a whole bunch of progress on it and this thing is going to be really badass when it's all said and done and i'm really excited to bring it onto the channel and uh let you guys people, follow along yeah a lot of people down in the comments have been asking you know if i have a project or you know why it needs to race something on the channel and you know behind the scenes we've been knocking this thing out and you know the time was right now you guys are going to be able to come along with the journey see where this thing goes yeah so uh without further ado we're gonna give you guys a quick walk around tell you a little bit of the history of this thing where it came from and how it came to be and just kind of go from there we've been filming some stuff as he has made progress and we'll just give you guys a full breakdown on why it's race truck build and as of this video we are going to be filming all of the progress on it until she is up and running and doing four by four launches rolling cold yep. and it's gonna be sweet hopefully four by four burnouts all right, wait, give the people the breakdown on this thing. Yeah, we'll keep it short and sweet. Uh, this is a project that I've been wanting to do for about four years now. Uh, originally, when I set out to build the truck, I ran my own diesel shop in Colorado, and I built this truck, or I was building it around the idea of using it for advertisement for doing so. Uh, but plans change, you get older and you wanna do cool things with your friends, like moving to Florida and uh, doing YouTube stuff full time. So kinda brought it down here with me and we'll be finishing it out. Um, it actually started out as two trucks. It was my daily driver, which was an 03 Duramax. It was the first truck I ever got. And also a K15, a 1970 GMC K15. Uh, my great uncle actually bought the truck brand new at Boulder Chevrolet. And it's kind of just been passed down to the family. Uh, it kind of got cursed with getting in accidents. So I decided this would be the best way to get it off the road and maybe get rid of the curse that came along with it. So that's kind of where the truck started. Yeah, because didn't you get in a wreck at a four-way and the front end was all like yeah, messed so, up? Yeah, so the, the curse with this truck, at least what I think is, it we got it back up and running. It got hit in a hunting accident. We were up hunting and truck came around a corner, hit it, got it fixed, then got hit again by a drunk driver, totally crippled the whole front end of the truck. So at that point, I was just like, whatever, it's gonna be a lot of work to fix it. And so yeah, after that, just decided to go ahead and cut it all up, because it would be a lot of work to go ahead and fix it at that point anyways. And then in my infinite mind of wisdom, uh, cut my daily driver in half, threw this body over it, and- And it was a perfectly good running Yeah, it was, it was literally my daily driver. And then I had gotten another car at the time, and so I was like, oh, well, I don't need this. Let's just build a freaking race truck and, you know, being the smart guy that I am, decided to cut a perfectly good truck in half. And uh, that's kind of what led to the basis of what this thing actually is, which is a full tubular back half, four wheel drive, Duramax powered, kind of the combination of both those trucks there to make it all happen. Yeah, I just want to show that all that's left from the original Duramax is about that frame rail, the engine, Yeah. and uh, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> So the only reason I actually kept the front half of the Duramax and decided to go this route is because GM probably spent millions of dollars figuring out all the geometry for the front of this stuff. And I wanted four wheel drive. So it was just the easy route to go. Just cut the extra weight off the back, use all the factory front suspension stuff. It's a factory front diff, control arms, axles, the whole deal up front, motor mounts, and even the original engine that was in the truck. And you know, the truck had 405,000 miles on it when I retired it. so. It's not like I didn't get my money's worth out of that thing before cutting it in half. Um, but yeah, it is 03 Duramax from there to just shy of the back of the cab. And then back behind that, uh, it is all tubular. It's all made out of inch and five eighths chromoly tubing. Uh, it's four linked, coil over deal, you know, pretty simple setup. Um, should work pretty good. <laughs> pretty Lot simple lighter. setup. Well, yeah, yeah, in the grand scheme of things, it's not simple to do, but a simple setup nonetheless, and cut a ton of weight out of the truck by getting rid of the factory frame rails because those things were just super heavy. And uh, yeah, really just wanted a tubular back half race truck. Uh, all of my friends had one back when I had the diesel shop, so one on one of my own and got to building. Man, she's really starting to come together. When we start showing some of the 
stuff we have filmed of this thing already none of this is done yet and he has made a whole bunch of progress and yeah. it looks really sick because yeah. we're There's... gonna go back to about a couple weeks ago when he was getting some of the stuff inside painted the beds were not on there the bedsides this upper bar wasn't here right and when he moved here this was all rusted out and yeah had to we, get it all repainted yeah i did very good at taking pictures of like the entire process of this i have pictures of the day that i cut the truck in half first time i set the cab on it so you guys will all get to see that here shortly and but, if you look up here you can see where he tied into the stock oem frame rails so that is all from a factory truck and then cut it off right there and then the back half of it is all tubular and custom and if we look in here i'm gonna go gentle on the door still you yeah. can see all of the sheet metal work you got done in there yeah so i know you had so, a lot of fun doing that right and that was kind of the goal with the truck was to actually learn new skills and you know kind of perfect others and doing a whole sheet metal interior was one that i wanted to give a try so turned out pretty good i guess i think it came out great yeah yeah Not so all custom for... sheet metal flooring yeah and then he has a nice cover to go over the transmission there yep and, and you also tunnels all removable all quarter turn fasteners and you also really recently stuff. swapped transmissions that's the yep. 4l80 right 4l80e um allison's which is what would have came stock in this were great transmissions for towing daily drive and all that good stuff uh, but when it comes to drag racing they just kind of fall short so with a 4l80e not only does it shift faster it also loses about 120 pounds over the stock Allison. Cause you did have the Allison kind of resting in there. Yep, yep. And you know, when I ran my shop, that's actually what I really specialized in was performance stuff. And we would build the Allison's all the time. And you know, this one had a built Allison in it. Like I said, they did good. They just aren't exactly what you want for drag racing. So made some changes there. Um, also going with like a lighter transfer case setup. We'll get into some of that stuff later on when we're a little bit closer, but this thing is a dedicated drag setup now, and the goal is to push this thing as far as we can. Um, you know, one day it'd be nice to run an eight second pass in the quarter with this thing. The high eight, of course, it's heavy still, but she a big girl. Yeah, she big thick. Well, but you got the cage to do it too. Yeah, it is asserted, not asserted yet, but it will cert at a 25.6, which is good to 750s, something like that, with a 4,000 something pound vehicle that this thing probably way by the end uh goal is actually sub 4000s but that'll probably be next season when i got a little more time and money to put at this thing with some fiberglass parts and rear axle stuff but that's all stuff we'll touch on later today just giving you guys the introduction to it and showing you around the truck i figured this would also be a uh, good video to mention how me and wyatt actually met about yeah. Six years ago, we both worked at Discount Tire together. Yeah, it was our first job. School. Yeah, we were working at Discount Tire together. We actually just got the tire machine in the shop working up again. Yep. We're gonna have to have ourselves a little race. Yep. See Bring who can. The good old days. Unmount and Kyle, remount dude. a tire. We used to knock them out. We could do like 15 minute four news by ourselves. So. There we were some quick tire any techs of you back got, then. Any of you tire techs, you know what's up. <laughs> <laughs> but. Yeah, me and I have known each other for a long time. He's been around since the channel, before the channel yeah. was a thing. Yep. And, you know, I knew him when this was still an 03 Duramax and not all cut up. And yeah. there's videos of us yeah. racing each other back when the hatch first got turboed. And yeah, like 300 horsepower versus the old Dura clapped. <laughs> yeah, we go way back. So yeah. kind of full circle deal here. Yep. Well, I've been there since day one. Yeah. He's kind of seen everything right. I've been through and have done over the last few years. And yep. I've always seen it from the outside looking in so have kind of a different perspective on everything and i guess that's kind of why we work so well yeah no it's so. been great like i said having wyatt around has been a game changer and if we had like three more wyatt's around we dude, we'd be getting done. a lot done <laughs> for real just keep yeah. the twisted tees away from him yep <laughs> you get a little lazy on the t days but uh, <laughs> it's all good you gotta kick back and relax every now and then yes yeah, sir Wyatt's doing some work on the old C10 race truck today. Yep. Tell the people what you're doing. So today we're making big improvements. We're actually getting the firewall painted on this thing. It's kind of the last step before I can put the entire interior in the truck, which I already have painted. We can show you that in a second. Uh, but yeah, I got to paint that. I got to paint a little bit of stuff on the back of the cab. And then pretty much we're done with paint work for a minute. We can actually start assembling the truck, then get into wiring and plumbing it and, you know, getting closer to being done with it so big things today stressful oh, yeah, days dude. are always the paint days so yeah this firewall came out so good why made this himself yeah, i did i did help 
cut it out. Then Kyle helped me run it through the bead roller. We did that in our living room. In the living room, yep, inside <laughs> the house, you know, taking up a little bit of extra space there. But yeah, it looked good. Um, too bad it's gonna be mostly covered up once everything's in it, but. Yeah, so you got all the welds ground down there. That looks awesome. I was about to touch it, but he actually just got all this wiped down with lacquer thinner because he's getting ready to lay that primer down. Got it all sealed up there as well. Yep, yep, some nice uh, bare metal body filler or body seam sealer stuff. So first time using that particular stuff, really like it, works great, so. Well, you should also show the people these uh, panels you got made here for the inside. Yeah, so this is actually the entire interior of the truck, the entire floor and transmission tunnel. And when you say interior, meaning the, the sheet metal the sheet pieces, metal not, like, not like yeah. seats and stuff exactly, like that. Exactly, exactly. So it's like just the floor and the tunnel and everything. Um, so yeah, it's all just satin black to match everything else on the truck. And then we got a bunch of quarter turn fasteners here because the transmission tunnel, which is back here, is fully removable. So this will come out, it'll come out in two pieces. Uh, that'll make working on the truck a lot easier at the track. If you got to pull the transmission or service something, you can just pull the tunnel out of it really quickly. So yeah. These things came out sweet, dude. Yeah, they turned out really good. I'm really happy with how they came out, so. Big sheet metal guy over here. <laughs> yeah, you know, I've never done like this much sheet metal before in my life, but this whole truck kind of been about just learning and perfecting skills. So that was one of the things that I wanted to learn and turned out all right, you know, that now hindsight 2020, there are definitely some things I would have done different, but I well, think for I the think first still, go around. Yeah, for your first go around, yeah. that's really good. That's the first time I've ever I mean, used a big metal brake. So like, look at these, that's like, yeah, that's really good quality work. Not too shabby. So all that was bead rolled. Again, Kyle helped me with some of that stuff. And then, um, yeah, the tunnels were all bent. I got a little handbrake down there. So turned out pretty good. I'm really happy with how it looks, but I'll be more excited once it's in the truck because it's been a long time coming. Got her all unmasked. Yep. It's looking good, one step closer. Getting there, man. I'm just excited to get the interior in it. I feel like once that's done, it's kind of a downhill battle from there, at least more so than it was. Yeah, these also look really good. Yeah. We got some of these for Wyatt's truck and the MR2. We haven't put them on the MR2 yet, but these are some carbon fiber covers yep. to go on the roll cage there, so when you're getting in and out, you don't wear the paint off. Those look really nice. And these are actually the real carbon fiber ones, not yeah. just the vinyl. Yeah, not wrapped or anything, legit carbon fiber. They're from Tim McCamus race cars. Yeah, that looks sick. Pretty nice deal. So. Oh yeah, getting your tunnel in there. Yeah, set it in there and show everybody what we were talking about. So that piece goes in first. Go something like that. Wyatt redid this tunnel like three times. Because he wasn't yeah, happy with I did it. it twice <laughs> because I was not happy with the first one at all. It and looks then, a lot better now. Yeah, I ended up making it two piece so it was easy to get in and out. And that one just these clips in there. And just like that. There she is. Yeah, and then it's real simple quarter turn fasteners, little black ones that match everything real nice and turned out pretty good, I think. Spent yeah. a lot of time working on that damn thing. Yeah, that came out good. The whole sheet metal floor in there. Yep. Looking awesome. Just gotta go around it with some body or some seam sealer real quick in a couple spots and then 
All she metals. Like, done. Do you plan on keeping it the original orange color? Yeah, yeah, I think I'm gonna go back with the original orange. Um, I kind of like, I really like this faded color, but I think for now we'll go back with the original really vibrant orange. This is actually a two-tone truck, so it had the white top, but I think I wasn't ever really a big fan of that. So I think we're just gonna go all orange with it. Well, I think we're about all caught up here, boys. Now everything we're seeing is pretty much up to date. Yep. We would have liked to film more because Wyatt has a lot of hours and just little stuff here and there, yeah. but we kind of showed him getting a lot of stuff painted up. And then from then on, he got the engine back in it, which is just kind of resting in place. He hung the front fenders and front bumper on, yep. and then him- Upgraded to rack and pinion steering. Oh like yeah, that. you're working on the steering rack as well, which is down there. Yep, save a bit of weight there. It'll have power steering still. We're gonna be doing some cool stuff with that, so. Now he is working on getting the bed sides hung, which he's still not 100% done yet, but yep. they are on there. They're on there and they're stout. Um, just got to add a couple of little corner braces to the bottom, but some things aren't going to go nowhere. Like, put your whole weight on that damn thing and <laughs> that's only tacked in, so. There's still a long ways to go, so. Yep, we'll have plenty of stuff to film on it. Yeah, there's still so. turbo kit, all of it. Yeah. Wiring, it's still basically a yeah. shell at this point. How much power do you plan on making in this thing? Uh, the goal is like 1200 on fuel and then anywhere's like whatever it'll do on nitrous. It could be anywhere from 14 to 1700 horsepower. It just depends how much fuel we have and how much nitrous we want to throw at it. Yeah, it's going to be a spicy unit. Yeah, and I don't think we mentioned it, but for anybody that's curious, this is an LB7 Duramax. So it's the first gen Duramax. Um, fully built. Yeah, fully rod, built. piston. Yeah, it's got a Cali's crank, Carrillo rods, Molly forged pistons, um, Wagner alternate firing order camshaft, um, push rods, springs, retainers. So it's a pretty stout unit. It should take some power. Well guys, I hope you were excited to follow along the progress we make on Wyatt's race truck build because now it is going to be officially on the channel here. And to be honest, I was a little hesitant about adding it to the channel. Ever since I first hired Wyatt, it has been nothing but good things. Uh, he's been working, like we said, for about a year and a half here now. We have accomplished so much together. We work well together. We communicate well. And we've gotten to a point to where, you know, we're comfortable bringing his truck onto the channel. Because for those of you that have followed along for a while, we have had people come and go. And in the past, you know, some of those situations didn't work out the best for me. And, you know, I've gotten to a point to where even when I first moved out here, I was kind of on my own and not really knowing what direction to go with things. And I've always wanted to build up a solid team. And you know, have that be the boosted boys. But, you know, some stuff I've had in the past with other projects that we have helped with, um, you know, didn't always work out too well. And we end up going our separate ways and it does suck. But, you know, why it's been around from the beginning, he's kind of yeah. seen all of that. Yeah. And we have kind of laid out what we expect of each other. And, you know, we're hoping it goes well. Yeah, and I'd I say think it will. I'd say we're both happy, you know. Um, there were some things on the back end, just like making it work, just kind of the benefits, risk versus reward stuff. And like Kyle said, I think we're both happy with kind of what we've come up with. And I think, you know, we're both working towards the same end goal. We just want to produce good content. And, and if it helps Kyle, do, it helps me. So do car stuff with your car friends. Yeah, you know, we're just out here wrenching on cars. So make it pretty simple and I think it'll work out good. Yeah, so, so. you know, Boosted Boys has come a long ways from when it first started and there's definitely been a learning curve there. But, you know, I want to get on that same page with everybody, try to grow a solid group, and it'd be cool to just kind of have it all in one place for you guys and make awesome content and keep it growing from there because I do want to be completely transparent. Like, after this, why it's getting a pay raise. I've given him, what, like four raises now since he started because he's yep. been crushing it, and he's going to have more time to work on his truck because before it was only on the weekends. Yep. Now he's actually going to have some time to work on it uh, during like work days, so instead of working on the cars in here, um, he's going to have more time to work on his truck and he's actually going to be getting paid to do that since it will turn into content for you guys and you know we'll try to take it to events and you know I help pay for all of that, have him out there having fun with me because I don't want to just be doing it out there on my own. I really would rather have someone else to have fun with because at the end of the day that's what all this stuff is about. Kind of diversifies the content too, you know, every every video is mostly like Kyle racing and now we can kind of add in a little bit more to that, you know, get me out there racing with them and, you know, just kind of change up, give you a little diversity in the content.
yeah, because it was never my goal just to have this solely focused on me. The channel is called Boosted Boys, and that's what it was from the beginning. I've just been trying to make it work as best I can, and uh, I really am excited to bring Wyatt on and start, you know, getting a group back together on the channel will be the ultimate goal. But uh, we'll also be helping him with any sponsorships for his truck as well, help get him parts, get that thing just up and going. Yep. So there will be a lot of benefits that come with it as well. So we've just done our best to balance that out. Yeah. and make it work for both of us yeah. so we just want to be on that same page so we yeah. can make this work and i think that's just going. been the biggest thing is on the same page you know as long yeah. as everybody's happy going into it you know i think it'll i think it'll be good in the long run i think it's going to work out yep so on that note wise truck is officially on the channel yep and that's going to do it for this video team boosted boys let's go let's do it peace out boys bye